Yeah. Cholo, you fucking sold us out. You said you did it for the culture. What culture? The track culture, nigga? You was running the whole fucking fight. We seen it. And then you was looking scared. All he ever. ran all fight. Hey. And no shout out to Derrick James. <laughs> Niggas leaving you, bro. <laughs> You better, you better do something fast. You got one more fighter to go out that way, and then you, you, all your big fights, pause. You going outside? That nigga, that gym gonna be empty soon. You better do something fast, nigga. Top two fighters lost. He trash at this point. Nobody give a fuck about yeah. that, nigga. You, I don't know how he won Coach of the Year, Trainer of the Year, whatever yeah, yeah, the fuck he was. Trainer of the Year. That nigga, that nigga's garbage. So I'm looking at his face, and you can see what we seen on the instant replay. When the punches was coming his way in slow motion, he was like, he was like, he was scared. That yeah, nigga he was kept scared, doing that. Nigga. I was just like, you went wow. in for a check, my nigga, and you were embarrassing, and you sold this out. Char- come on, bro. Charlo, can we get our eighty nine dollars back, please? Please, because you got to think about how many eighty nine dollars niggas spent because he sold us a dream. Now we know what you get when Canelo come to the table. Yeah, Charlo lied. He got to get back forty of the eighty nine. Oh. Knocked down. You didn't even get knocked down. You took a knee. Yeah, that was you. that was a surrender in the moment. Yeah, to yeah. Earl, and yeah. he tried to diss Earl in the um, all access. He definitely no tried access. to say like, Errol Spence was all tired. I ain't trying to be Errol Spence. I, I got more respect for Errol Spence than yeah. you, nigga. As you can see from the instant replay, it was a choice. It wasn't a shot. It was a choice. Charlo purposely dropped to a knee. That was a choice at the end of the day, and when. I said that he ruined his legacy. Some people didn't understand what I meant. This is what I mean. See, you can't escape. See, we're not the Latin fan base. They will allow you to hide behind certain things. But when you put on performance like that and stuff, you're going to get called out. You don't have the same shield that they provide for the Latin fighters. We don't provide that. We actually hold you to a standard. And that's what keep these fighters sharp and on top of the food chain. That's why I say don't knock criticism. It's good. It's healthy for you. How you think you're going to grow? You know, but anyways, with Charlo, he sold himself out. He played himself completely out. You know, there's nothing left to grasp on. What do I mean by that? The one thing that Charlo had, he just gave up. Yes, he doesn't get the credit that he deserves. Yes, he was supposed to be on a pound for pound list. Yes, he's fought good competition. Yes, he's one of the best fighters. We all know that. We all know that. But that's one of the main and one of the only things that he had that nobody could take from him. But he allowed Canelo to pimp that out of him. Now he has nothing left. Now you'd have lost your integrity along with it. The one thing I always knew about Charlo is that he was game and that he would fight anybody. The one thing that he was solid for, he just completely give up. So there's nothing left to Charlo. He doesn't particularly have a fan base, which is crazy because how do you not succeed like that? And you're playing the bad guy. But anyways, uh, people want their money back. A lot of people feel severely played about paying for this fight. And I don't blame them. Like they're really bothered that they gave you that $85. They really bothered by that. For you doing that. Now, in in, in order for you to get in a position where somebody going to pay some pay-per-view to see you do something, you're going to have to be carried. You're going you're gonna to always have to be in a position that, that you're in, meaning somebody's always going to have to play the Canelo for you. That's how your career is going to have to go from here on out. So actually, as of right now, as far as big money, this is the funny part. Now you actually got to chase Charlo. I mean, he actually has to chase Crawford. You got to chase Crawford now. You actually got to beg him now. Ain't no other big paydays coming your way. This is the irony to the whole thing. No other paydays is coming your way but a Crawford. But a Crawford. And now he don't even want to entertain you. So are you going to go back to fighting what you was fighting for and all that stuff? I don't think you're trying to do that. I think you're going to try to go for big fights from here on out. But the only guy big fight left for you is Terrence Crawford. And he only wants you looking his way now based off that performance. Like I said, he played himself. 
Legacy and all, down the drain, in the trash. He's no good. You're not useful no more. You gave up the one thing you was useful for. You're not useful no more. That's just what it is. Play yourself. And people want their damn money back. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.